You're listening to The Startup with Monique LeRae, only on L.A. Talk Radio. This is The Startup. I'm Monique LeRae, and this is The Startup with Monique LeRae. Welcome back to my show. Uh, happy Sunday to you. For a lot of you, it's an end of a long week. I look at Sundays at the very beginning. I know some people do as well. Uh, so happy beginning of the week for a lot of you other entrepreneurs. And today we're on the road again. You know, I, I'm always on the road. But, you know, it's, it's a good time to do it. You know, it's a good time to, to uh, manifest your dreams. And if anything I've learned in this pandemic moment, this pause, this global timeout, if you will, is uh, to just go for it. Give yourself permission. Anything that you've ever dreamt of doing, not to sound cheesy, but just do it, right? Just go for it. So today I'm here. We're shooting a, a sizzle reel for a client. He's very talented and very interesting, and there'll be more details about that later. Right now, um, we're just going to shoot some footage, and I'm in beautiful uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. So shout out to everybody in Phoenix and Scottsdale. It's a beautiful day here today, and we're about an hour ahead of L.A., so I am um, calling in right on time. So um, I want to recap a couple things, and then I have a really special guest, someone that is really close to my heart, but, you know, I'm kind of biased because uh, she's one of my friends, and so <laughs> she's really talented as well, and she'll be right with us. Um, but I wanted to just recap everything that we're doing with the pandemic film, the pandemic documentary, uh, project documentary, which is the American version of our film, is in edit currently, and we're working to bring that to you this spring. It'll probably be late spring, early summer. Uh, but I want to take my time and do it right, like the song. Uh, and as far as the international version, the pandemic film, uh, we are still traveling and shooting. Uh, the next stop is going to be Vancouver, uh, Toronto, excuse me, Vancouver, Montreal, and then Toronto, March 22nd. And uh, myself and my castmate, uh, Christopher John, will be hitting the road to interview people up there. So if you know anyone with a pandemic story, essential worker, small business owner, survivor, someone with an opinion on the pandemic, uh, we want to meet you uh, up there in Canada. And uh, yeah, we're socially distanced in between each trip with masks and we're doing all the pr protocols. We get tested, um, you know, I get tested so much. I feel like a porn star. I mean, they get tested all the time, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's a different kind of test, of course, but we are getting our nose swiped and our tongues scraped every other day on the road. So please rest assured that we're being safe. But if you guys have a story, capaquariusmedia at gmail.com. And uh, we would love to hear from you. Or follow me on Instagram, Monique Loray Stinson, or on Facebook, Monique Loray, L-O-R-E. And I think we have um, Rosalind Cashmeyer. Hi, Rosalind. <laughs> am I wait? Am I on mute or no? No, you are all good. We can hear you. We can see you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had to mute myself because um, that was really funny what you just said. <laughs> You know what? I have moments of, uh, you know, fun times on this show. I tell people, you know, thank God it's a dot com. There's some curse words that come out. There's some inappropriateness. But you know me for so long. I mean, I worked at MTV. What what do people expect? You know? Exactly. That's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And that's why I mean, they love you because well, <laughs> you, you say it like it is. No filter. Thank you. Well, I love you. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and that's really, why. No filter. <laughs> filter. Well, you know what? Filter would need it because we had a young lady on last week and she was uh, like 12 or 13 and I was so good with her. And speaking of that, Rosen Cashmeyer is an author, a multi-serial author, uh, an educator, and she's an actress, but she's so many more things than that. And she's one of my dearest friends. Welcome to the show, Rosalind. Thank you. <laughs> How is everyone? I hope everyone's having a great time out in the world, wherever, because this is all over the place. You are international. Like, We're international, baby. We're international, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for people who don't know, you know, Rosa and I, we fell in love uh, as friends, you know, on a game show about a decade ago. It's been like 15, it's been like 15 years, right, Rose? How long it was it been? a long time. I was in my prime. <laughs> you still are, baby. You're a prime rib. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was about it was about 15 years ago. Yeah, 
Wow, it was a long time. I can even tell you the name of the show. Okay, yeah, let's say it. They, they don't mind any free press. Oh my god, this is hilarious. It was a reality TV show, and it was um, Who Wants to Date a Comedian? And yeah. I'm actually still friends with the comedian that I, I won on the show, which I was surprised because you should see the competition. They were like amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're pretty amazing. So, so um, Adam and I, we're still friends to this day, and we laugh about it. Um, it it's, it's hilarious. And he's still in L.A., but we're still very good friends. That's really great. You, so you've gained a few good friends out, off that show. I mean, everybody was really cool to work with, and you, you know, it was really great to have you there. Uh-oh, it looks like we froze a little bit. Let's, On my part? Oh, well, we are both frozen, but we can hear, huh? I see okay. you moving. I see you moving okay, good. and taking. Okay, well, let's just pretend that we're still going. Okay, guys, so <laughs> let's No, I still see you moving. Okay, good. I don't. Everybody's from, but you know what? Let's keep the show going. We're professionals, kind of. Rosalind is, uh, is also an author. Tell us, start with your first book, Rose, for those aspiring authors out there that really want to put something pin to pad and get something down. What? drew you in oh okay so just to give you a little bit about my background i'm actually a special education teacher and i love writing and i i write for my students to see whatever they're going through or their needs and so there's a big back in the day i mean about healthy eating and some of my students they didn't know like what eggplants were or like other vegetables so i wanted to you know expose them to these great fruits and vegetables and so i decided to write a healthy eating book but it's not it's not preaching it's basically about moderation because i can't we all love junk food it doesn't matter but it's all about moderation so you can still enjoy your favorite fruit you know your favorite candy but it's about moderation so it's a little boy who loves junk foods and then he goes into this mystical world and he's stuck between Junkie Town and Healthyville, and then he decides to go to. Uh, where would you go to? Where would you go to if you were a child? <laughs> In Junkie Junkie Town. <laughs> exactly. So he goes to <laughs> Junkie Town, and he gets himself in trouble, and then he realizes that healthy foods and healthy Healthyville is the best place to go, and and he gets back in shape, and uh, he realizes that you know fruits and vegetables are. Uh, Nature's candy, but he still likes his candy. But it's oh, a that's the title of your next book. <laughs> that's a really cool. I just kind of went on that journey with you in my mind. I wonder what junkie. Oh, I think Teddy and I think Teddy is too. I'm sorry. Can you hear him barking? Hi, dog. Uh, All so right. It's the dog upstairs. He's playing and he wants to play. Teddy, come over here and say hi to your auntie Monique. Come over here. <laughs> Come here. I, I can't see anyone because I'm frozen, but I can hear him. Wait, He's you can't. See, you, I can see you move. Well, I, I'm just staring at where you were, and you know, it's all good as long as the viewers can see us. I'm happy. Can every um, can they can they say if they can see you? Like, can they chat with you? Yeah, yeah everything's good. Okay. So, um, yeah, well, I think we're, we're we're good. So, you last time you were on, you were promoting uh, Poncho. Oh, yeah. So um, Poncho Power is about a super fan, but it's not about it's not about like he's a super fan of the Buffalo Bills because that's where I live. And I am a fan of the Buffalo Bills, but um, it's a, for all super fans. And it's it's uh, based on a true story. Uh, I don't know if, if people who aren't familiar with Poncho Bill, uh, his real name is Ezra Castro, and he was a diehard super fan and he lived in Texas and he was from Texas nobody lived in Buffalo he his brothers all were like diehard cowboy fans Bronco fans and he was the only one that loved the Bills because when he was eight years old he fell in love with the colors and uh, it's about his story but as a child um, about how he fell in love with the Bills and became a super fan but unfortunately he has a challenge and as an adult, he ended up passing away of cancer. So I kind of bring it down to um, a level where children can understand and not give up. And it's about not giving up and following your dreams and keeping your spirit alive. You and always draw from that. You always are so good about drawing from like real life experiences 
What advice would you give that aspiring first time writer that does not know where to start, how they can draw from this moment in time in, in our history? Can I just tell you, it's a lot of lot of creativity. I mean, honestly, when in your dreams, I, I had to, like, I'll use Stephen. Um, uh, Stephen, what's it? Who did it? Spielberg? Oh. <laughs> who did it? Who, who did the scary movies? My oh, mind just, I just had a brain fart. Oh, okay. Well, we're live on LA Talk. Shout out. <laughs> so, wait a second. <laughs> I'm trying to think of his name. Oh my so, heavens! Okay, um, is he a director or he's a, he's a writer, and he okay. did all the scary movies. The it Stephen King. Thank you, my Thank friends. You. <laughs> I was about to say yes, yeah, Stephen King. Thank you. So yeah, so Stephen King would go to you know he would have these dreams, and then he okay. would wake up and he would write down what he was dreaming, and a lot of my like I just like daydream or. It just comes to me. I don't know. Like, I'll just wait. Oh, my God. I have an idea. And I have to just go with it. Because if I don't yeah. go with it, even though I might write it down and it makes complete, like, craziness that we, the grammar is all great. But the idea is there. And then you can expand on that. So the best thing that I tell people is just write it down. And then you can work off of that. Just just get your thoughts on paper. Don't care about a lot of people are like, oh, I got to, you know, they're very, you know, grammar, you know, punctuation. But I just say, just just let it flow. Just let it go. And then you can worry about it later. And then if you have what I just had, a brain fart, you can always <laughs> come back to it and, you know, re, you know, go through the details and really edit. But I just wanted to touch base because when I talked to you last time, I didn't have my 2020 book and I want to show you the 2020 book. Hold on. Let me show you this. It's so beautiful. I can't out. wait to actually be able to see you. But yeah, the viewers, it feels so nice. The um, viewers can see it. Guys, what do you guys think of Rosen's book here in a moment? Okay. So this is my latest book and it's called 2020, a year of hope and change. And I actually oh. co-authored this with Patrick Hall. And wow, congratulations. Yeah, so he's, um, I wanted to do a poetry book for children. And I just wanted to show you, like, some of this illustrations and stuff. It's just, I mean, it's right. really beautiful. It's hardcover. You can get it on um, Barnes & Noble website. You can get it on Walmart now, distribution wow. online. online. Um, it's like 2020, a year of hope and change. It's like, did I wake up from a bad dream? The year is 2020. I click here to see my classes on the screen. Principal mom says, after class, we'll do chores and clean. I see because it's March 17th, my friends are wearing green. The class, they've all logged in, Johnny, Holly, and Sue. There's Michael, Nick, Clark, and Nadine, and the Johnson sisters, too. So, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about this too. Science, math, history, and maybe ELA. So much to do, so much to learn. What shall we do today? <laughs> Mrs. Campbell is so fun. I kind of, this is me when I was teaching virtually. I would wear different hats. This is always <laughs> such a hoot. Why we play virtual cahoots. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. I missed some. Mrs. Campbell's so fun. She always such a hoot. She dresses up in funny hats while we play virtual kahoot. And I and I do play this with my students. So this is this is this is a hundred percent accurate. It's phys ed time with Mr. Mac. He keeps us strong and fit. He wants to do our very best as long as we don't quit. Isn't the illustrations absolutely beautiful? Wait till I tell you who wrote this. I mean, who not wrote it, illustrated it. No place yeah. to play. That's okay. I, I worship from afar. The God I know, the one I trust, hears us where we are. And then this is my favorite page, and then I'll stop reading. I mean, not, there's one more page I really love. We walk the dog, my mom and I, any time of day. As neighbors pass by, they still say hi, although six feet away. So it's all positive. Where's my favorite? Hold on. Oh, I'll skip it. This is my favorite. With this mask, I am safe, girl. COVID-19 can't get me. I will be healthy and stay strong forever virus free. So um, it's really beautiful illustrations. There's more poems. I just didn't want to like keep reading to you guys if you don't want to hear. Oh, as a parent of grade school kids, I can say you, you go, oh, thank you. Yeah, no, this is really, 
Um, this actually, the illustrations, this is actually a really cool story. So we did this book completely virtually. We have pictures like on Zoom. And it was a 17-year-old high school senior. And she wants to, she was going to art. She applied to go to art school. And uh, she um, was my friend, Patrick's friend's daughter. And she really wanted to do this. So now she is an illustrator. And she did the illustrations in high school in her senior year. And you, had, you, just, you, just got a, you just got a senior onto a Walmart and Barnes and Noble platform for the, her first illustration. I mean, that's huge. Isn't that amazing? I'll show you Kaya. She's such a cutie pie. She And she lives in Canada. Like, this was all... So an illustrator... This wow. Is little, this is little Internationally Kaya. illustrated <laughs> virtually. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. And look I, at have it, to read, I do have to read the, I'll read the ending because I think this is actually really beautiful. Go for it. No, go for when it. When the calendar turned and the year now said 2020, not Holly nor Timmy could know the world could change plenty. But things always change and new can be fun. They can still laugh hearty and go for a run. And all that they had to continue to be is more than a story than you read to me or I read to you when things start to seem gray. Just think of young, yo, just think of young Timmy and yell out, hooray! Hooray! hooray. <laughs> so, it, it's really cute. Um, it it's cute. all about positivity, even though this year has been changed our world upside down. But, you know, these kids, you know, we, I mean, even like the birthdays, like, you know, we put in the story, like Timmy has a birthday party. So they, they honk and they do a birthday parade and they all honk and say hi. And I mean, so it's everything what kids are going, but flipping it on a positive side instead of all the negativity. And you know what? I'm glad that you, you capitalized on this moment to do something because forever in the history of the world, your book will always be there in some form. And this young lady was able to illustrate. So you, the way that you've shifted things virtually and to do this, and you put this out in record time. I mean, you only you did this in a couple months, Rose, I feel like. How long did it take you to start to finish with this book? Oh, my gosh. Um, start to finish. We started, well, we started in April, May. We started in May, and then we had yeah. it out. Uh, we just needed the printing part, but we had it done officially in the summertime. But yeah, just, you had it. just waiting you for had it. it. She nailed. I mean, she she really like nailed the illustrations. Like she, this kid was amazing. Like I couldn't believe it, and I love the style because it was very like I, I just loved it. We this is what we wanted. We wanted something that embraces everyone and what everyone's going through. So well, we're excited to hear more about it. You just sent me a link yesterday, which was so timely. Let's get into it. What have you got going on in the world of acting? Oh, this is amazing. Da, 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 da. So I am now part of a series that are it's on Amazon Prime and it's free. So everyone, wow. you can watch this for free. And we want to get a fan base. Uh, it's called okay. So there's a there's a story. We're the we're the prequel, the sequel, but there is a story. It's called a Di diary of a lunatic, and it's called Truth Calling, and that's the movie. I'm not in the movie, but you'll kind of understand what's going on once you see the diary of a lunatic, Silky's Tales, and it's about parallel universe and alter egos. It's very fantasy. The storyline is awesome. Um, it's <laughs> really cool. We want to get an, like a, a great fan base because we want to yeah. continue and really get a big budget and really dive into it. Because if you just watch the storyline, okay. it's very different and it's super cool. Um, like I said, like if we had a big budget, you could do so much more. But everyone did a great job, and it's free on Amazon Prime if you have Prime. And it's called Diary of a Lunatic, Silky's Tale. And it's fantasy if you like alter, like u different universes and parallel We're worlds. Need it. We need it. We need to go away and have fantasy right now, everybody. Well, that's what it is. And it was like, it's really yeah. a cute story. It's very cute. And it's about like good and bad and 
it's it's good. I think I'm gonna watch it on the plane coming back because I got a flight tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna check it out and get back with you. You guys follow Rosalind Cashmeyer. Why don't you give everybody your handle so they can find it? And then you're gonna put the link to your show here on on the show, right? We're gonna put a link up. Can I can I write on this? Does everyone see the chat or is it? Yeah, when, when we're done, it? when we're yeah, when we're done, you can we can put a link up. Sure. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, yeah, let's do that then. Whatever you want to do. But can I type on this thing? And then, you yeah, can but see? at the end, yeah, we'll put it up together. But right now, okay. tell everybody where they can find you on social media. Um, okay. So, my name, <laughs> super simple. You know how, like, you go and you're like, wait, who's this person? I don't even know. And then it's like your friend, but it's like some other random name. And you're like, I don't know. Give your handle out, Rose, because people okay. don't know. <laughs> It's Rosalind Kazmaier, just R-O-S-E-L-Y-N-K-A-S-M-I-R-E. -S -S -E, and you can find my books on my website as well as RosalindKazmaier.com. The only and book that you can It's got an H in her name, guys. I had to learn that five years into being her friend. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's K-A-S-M-I-R-E. Um, the only book that you can't get on my website personally would be the 2020, but you can get all my books on my website and I can sign them for you. But like the only one that you can't get is we this one. We need to do that. We yeah. need to do that. And we've got to get some books where I was doing something with Cost LA and it was, by the way, everyone, shout out to all the sponsors that help with Cost LA. We, they total raised 200, over $200,000. So thank you everybody for all your contributions. I want to get Supergirl. Maybe some more bookmarks or something for the next event. I have uh, to do that. I got to get some more. Yeah, Rosalie, I just want to tell you, you look, super girl. <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful. You oh, look, my God. You look great. Thank so. my dear. You always do. I'm well, all uh, tasty. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I love Buffalo. Oh, and shout out to Buffalo. I love you, Buffalo. There's so much talent in your town. I, I want to get a rental property there, and I want to, I told you I would go skiing with you this year. It didn't happen. I've just been spread a little thin, but. And people well, don't realize Buffalo has a lot of arts. Like, people, so good. we have so much talent, and there's a studio now being built on um, Niagara Street, like a, a big studio. And Paramount right now is in Buffalo getting ready to do a movie. Really? Yeah, yeah. So all over, I know you're all over that set getting the the. Uh, yeah, set. well, they weren't looking. They, weren't looking for, <laughs> I, they didn't have any auditions. I was looking to see if I could audition, but I know they. You gotta got put the Supergirl cape on and walk around that bit. You gotta get that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Halloween yet? Okay. <laughs> well, I think it's a scary movie. I have a feeling. I don't know, but. I don't know. They were casting, so for well, background. sign me up for the scary movie. I don't mind if I get murdered first. I, <laughs> I don't care. Well, I well, love well. it. Well, um, thank you so much for everything. Uh, we've got about 10 more minutes. Do you have 10 more minutes we want to spend with you? Um, yeah. I mean, like I said, I can talk more. I just didn't know like what you, what you well, had. Well, I was going to tell you now, we've got so much to cover, actually, because there's a lot going on with online platforms. And I've been preaching this to people, especially people with brick and mortar, right? So they are moving online and people who are kind of been begrudgingly embracing it. I just launched something called the fellowship where we help people who are mostly brick and mortar who have been shut down because of the pandemic create an income stream online. So we want to really foster them. But I want to bring something to your attention. And this is another facet of that business and that's for the influencer. So you see like a lot of these young people that are really catching up a lot of followership uh, fast. And I saw a young lady and I spoke about it two weeks ago and it, it really pulled on my heartstrings. She was she had just turned 18, she lived in New Orleans, Rose. And she had started, she was sitting on the floor and she had all these packages. And she's like, in the caption it said, every time I fill an order, another one comes in. She had just got a million followers on TikTok. She had a beauty line. Wow. I want and she got overwhelmed and she hung herself in the closet. And it touched on my heart because I think like people like yourself who work with, you know, all types and, and, and you're an educator, what, you know, what can we offer some of these influencers, these young people that are navigating the online space? What has been some things that has helped you in the past uh, not get overwhelmed? Well, I, 
I mean, I don't have a million followers. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to, you know, but you, you keep, you keep on top of it. I mean, I've got, I mean, I try, I mean, I, I can, I can say, I mean, if, the, I mean, there's social, I mean, I'm just saying like for my students, I know like the social aspect and, you know, people yeah. can be mean and sometimes people, um, just want to throw stuff at someone. I mean, if they're influent, you know, and write like a nasty comment just to get a reaction. So I don't right. know if that was like what was going on with this young girl, and she just couldn't handle the situation, or was it? Just yeah, we don't know. Happened? I think there's a boyfriend element. We don't know. It's all speculation. You know? Yeah, but I feel like um, it's very very easy to I mean I I just don't pay attention to it because if you do then you're gonna drive yourself crazy absolutely but where's Teddy at he's barking he's barking as I always tell my students haters are gonna hate and That's you can't, and you can't make you know everyone is entitled but I mean I look at it like this when someone's like oh I, I'm I get sad and I'm like listen do they go home with you at night? No. Are, do they live with you? No. I said, you know, once you finish school, you're probably never going to see these people again. <laughs> and yeah. they're like, yeah. I'm like, so I'm like, people are going to talk because they don't have nothing to do. And you just stay away from that negativity and don't even pay attention to it. Like, just... Okay. Just stay away from that. I'm like, and you don't need that. And then like, like with girls, you know, like a lot of teenagers, they're like, oh, she's my friend. But then she's like, but she talks about me. Well, you know what? If she's talking about you and that other girl that she's friends with, you don't need to have that girl as your friend. Just yeah, it's basics from school that you can apply even in your adult years as well. Right. Like, why hang out with negativity? Like, why surround yourself Instead of surrounding yourself with people that are positive and, you know, spiritual or whatever, like, just a good soul. Like, who who wants to feel bad about themselves when, you, when you're hanging out with your friends? No, all great points. And I think, too, you know, when you do get to a level where people are, talk, are talking about you, that's a positive thing because they're taking their energy and time they can't get back and they're focusing, they're shining on you. So. Do something noteworthy. Do something to get that they're going to need to talk about, you know, something positive. And like you said, foster ideas and keep pushing things forward. But, yeah, I think we're going to really launch something on that platform to help, like, young influencers and people, baby boomers, too. People feel a little misguided or overwhelmed. But social media and uh, the platform that we have on the Internet now, you can really do some wonderful things for your brand. So, Getting some balance there is what we all want, right? We want to make the money, but still enjoy ourselves. You know? Exactly. That's exactly. All right. Well, uh, you guys, if you haven't followed Rosalind Cashmire yet, you are missing out. So find her on all the social um, handles on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Are you on Clubhouse? I've heard of Clubhouse. I heard of Clubhouse, but I'm not familiar. I, it's already hard for me just to do Instagram and Facebook. I, I, mean, <laughs> I don't even know how to do And like the TikTok thing, now the TikTok thing is probably fun. It's a weird place, though. It's a weird universe, but it's It's fun. a lot of energy, and I'm like, it's I can't spend my energy doing this and then not spending my energy on creating and writing. Like, I, I can't do yeah. little videos. <laughs> I would love well, you to do little can. videos, but I well, would rather Teddy's write. Working. Teddy's in the background wanting to get into a video. <laughs> um, are you on LinkedIn? What do you like about, do you like? No, I am, I'm, on I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn, yeah. I'm yeah. on LinkedIn, but uh, yeah, yeah. I, I know that TikTok is really, really big with my students. They all love it. It's a wild place, man. It's a fun place. <laughs> I, I bet you can come up with some kind of book idea in TikTok world because it's a nutty place. I don't know. I get on there. I had to. I had to delete the app though because it was consuming my time watching the videos. <laughs> and I'm like sitting there Bubbling. watching the videos, and I'm like, "This is fabulous. This is so fun. <laughs> this is great." And I'm like, "I'm not getting anything Listen, done." I had to get rid of it. You are an executor. Listen, if anybody <laughs> I know 
that gets things done and dumps on a plane. And I'm like, where are you at? She's like, I'm, I'm here. You and I, we run hard. and it, But you know how to execute some things. So I, I find that I don't believe that story that you could that you <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> well, so um I want to talk about next year. What do you what do you forecast for you know the uh you know the book in the gaming industry and the and, and acting and like you know the conventions because I know you really like to do like the um Comic Cons and you're really active in that community. Do you think that things will be a little bit back to normal and where people can do conventions again? I do, it? I do, I do. And, and I think that um, regardless if they're vaccinated or not, you can just do to do rapid testing because when I went to the NFL game for the Bills, they, yeah. they, they started letting the, the fans in for the playoffs. So they just did the um, uh, quick rapid test so you can – see if you can go in which is fine because not everyone's comfortable getting vaccines and i totally agree i mean everyone's entitled to their own opinion but i think you know people that do people do the rapid testing i mean it's good i think things are going to open up i really do well this year you were live and center at the super bowl you got to dip your toe into opening back up and being around people how was that by the way Oh, it was great. And you know what? Everyone, um, you, you know, Florida, they say, oh, Florida's, you know, people were wearing masks inside. I felt safe. Like um, people were wearing masks when you were inside different places. Uh, I had a ball. I had a blast. Had a ball. You had a good time? I did. Oh, I love it. Oh, I my love gosh. being oh. in the sun. Who doesn't want to be in the sun compared to I mean. You've been dealing with snow. By the way, you guys, if you have not been to <laughs> Buffalo, New York, go and visit Buffalo, New York. Put some money into that economy. It's a beautiful, charming town. You will fall in love with it. Once Rose invited me up last year, I fell in love with it, and I'm definitely going to buy property there and, you know, rent it out because I think it is so charming. And like she mentioned, and I agree, there's so much untapped talent and so, so many people that are willing to just to do the work and you can get to New York City in about an hour and a half on a plane or you can take the train like I did and take eight hours or however long that took right. and see this big view but you know it Buffalo is some I think it's like a really special place I I, I just I don't know why you maybe you were there and it made it better Rose Aww, but I felt, well, I, you're always I fell in love with it here whenever you want well thank Teddy you. loves his auntie Monique well, but I definitely have everyone please please check out uh diary of a lunatic just check out the storyline um i really think it's cool like i said it's it was on a lower budget but if we get a bigger budget we can, can you imagine what we can really do with that series with a different world yeah and maybe we'll make it the next twilight because i gotta tell you in full disclosure i was a twilight what they call it uh, a, a me too oh i love me some twilight y'all <laughs> so let's make this Diary of a Lunatic the next Twilight. We're going to get you fans, and maybe there's someone out there that has some money they want to throw at this project. So Rose is going to put it in the link when we're done with the show. Click on that. Follow her on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, not TikTok, not yet, anyway. And uh, <laughs> I just got to work on Clubhouse, too. I mean, let's just go yeah, for wait, 10. I mean, wait, I think what, we're at six Can now. you just tell me what Clubhouse is so I know? Is this really I, don't, cool? I have no, I don't know what the hell it is, but I got an invite, so I'm going. You did? Send me an yeah. invite. <laughs> okay, but I didn't even cash my invite in yet. The minute I get in, I guess I, I'll give you what I but got. How do you, but what is it? I don't know. They're, I don't know. They're going to, I don't know. They're going to take fingers and toes over there. I don't know what they're doing, but we're going to find out. <laughs> well, when you find out, you let me know because I have no idea. But I've been hearing about okay. Clubhouse, and I, I I'm confused what it is. Maybe the viewers might know. Does anybody know what Clubhouse is? <laughs> yeah, it's a new spot. It's the new spot to be at. I, but it reminds me of a uh, no, that was townhouse. I wonder well, if it's more for older people. I mean, not saying that we're old, but I'm just saying it, maybe it's more. You know, TikToks for the teenagers. Maybe Clubhouse is more for like. You yeah. know, thirties. Yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I could it's like be Black wrong. Planet. I, I, do you remember Black Planet? No. Maybe it's like Black Planet, or my. Maybe it's like MySpace. MySpace. I remember MySpace. Did you? Remember I'm still trying Black to find it. I want to get in there so I can get all my old photos back. How about Friendster? 
Fr <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe we should start one. What would we what would we do? This is the startup, you know. I do like you could just do I know, let's think. Because I mean I think, think Facebook well, I mean I think that we could do one. I mean Facebook We've got a lot going on. on. We're has busy a lot ladies. going on right now. So. We're busy ladies. I, okay, so what do you think, Rose? How do you write your book? fast because I'm speaking into the phone and it types for me an email. So what I do is when I get a chapter idea or like a page, I just talk into the phone and get that idea out. Like you said, even if there's grammatical errors or it's that's constant. great, Monique. No, I usually have to write it down. Oh, you like, you like, that's, to that's a you great have a idea. Pen and you have like a feather pen and you dip it in the ink or what do you do? I wish. <laughs> no, I just usually just write it all either scribble or I start typing. It depends on if I'm near my computer or so when I was on the plane, I yeah. actually started writing another story, which is super cute. And it's going to I'm trying to make it like Goonies slash Stranger Things because I like both of those series when I love Goonies. That. So it's like Goonies slash and it's going to be for like uh, junior high. It's catered. Yes. Most of my books are for younger kids. And this yeah. is this is going to be my first chapter book for like junior high, but it's super cool. I just got to finish it. it I, got, I only got like t eight pages, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it this week, I feel it. You know what would be really a cool collab? If but it's a cool, it. it's a chapter book, so it needs to be at least 100 pages. <laughs> All right, I call that like a toilet read, where you just have it in for like your coffee table or your bathroom, but it's like real thin. Yeah, I'm going to do bigger, bigger fonts and just picture, like I said, just think of Goonies slash Stranger Things. It's, I'm going to something like that. You'll see. You know what would be really badass? It's like if we could get your stories, even though you did say that you have a certain demographic, if you did it more, like if you just did one adult one with the still with the feeling of, you know, the Goonies, like the, the adult feeling to it, uh, I mean, the childhood feeling for adults. You know what would be really great is if Tyler Perry picked up one of your projects because that's a whole nother like angle and synergy. Be fun. Listen, you can make any of these books a, a, a actually a movie. Well, my Mage okay. Magnus, my Mage Magnus, that would be amazing. Yeah. The Misadventures. Tell us about. Mage. Yeah, tell us about Mage Madness. We got a couple minutes left. Tell Wait, us should that. I go grab them? The well, right thing. Well, stay I'm in the not, frame. Okay. I'm not really quick. Hey guys. Let's this is LA Talk Radio. This is the startup with Monique LeRae. We got Rosalind Cashmere. She's going to grab a book and show you guys. Uh, yeah, you're coming back. I want to show me. We're coming Magnus. back. We've got dogs. We've got books. This, this, this is um, Mage Magnus is, would be an awesome, awesome series. I know uh, the misadventures of Mage Magnus, and it's about a little boy. It's not like Harry Potter. It's a little boy who is actually parents are wizards <laughs> and and he has um he has challenges um he makes mistakes but it's not on purpose and uh he it's really acute like this is uh, about not giving up and then this is an anti-bullying book and then i just grabbed the adventures of jasper just to show to the, uh, the road to healthyville can people get all these on your website everything yeah but yeah, so, they're all on my website. Yeah, I think these are right in time for Easter baskets or Passover gifts or Mother's Day or whatever the heck's coming up next. Uh, they're great for that, you know, that special kid in your life or someone creative. I'm excited to see where you're going to do next, Rose. Thank you so much. Wait till you see this. Wait till you. I'm just working on it, but it's really okay. a cute story. Ah. Uh, Thank you so much for being on the show today and working with the, the traveling show I've got going. I really miss you, and I cannot wait to see you again. All I right, you guys. Say, I love seeing your pictures, and you're all over the place, so you keep doing it. Hey, well, thank you. And by the way, everybody, if you haven't seen the Pandemic Project documentary trailer, Miss Rose, Rosalind here is in the supersized trailer. So go on YouTube and type in the Pandemic Project documentary, and you'll see all these beautiful people that we were able to meet last year around the U.S. And Rose shared her story. And we will um, 
to her in the full documentary, the 90 minutes of the whole film here too. And I just want to say thank you to all your listeners for being with us and thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Rose, you're going to make sure when you hang up to put that link in the thread there on LA Talk Radio under my show, and I'll show you how to do it. Um, we'll see you soon, Rose. I've got 10 minutes left in the show, and I want to talk to everybody about some things. So you'll come back with the director of the of the film, right? You'll be back? Yeah, I would love to come back on and uh, have – actually, I was thinking you should even interview Anthony Pachella because he, he is a union guy, and he works all in movies, and he's actually working on the Paramount picture right now. So you could even talk to him about Inside Scoop, scoop about, like, what yeah. everything's going on. Um, well, done it. Yeah. That's a done deal. Done. Let's yeah. Put that in the book. Go talk, talk your ear off. <laughs> well, we have a whole hour on this show. We need that. <laughs> Thank you all for right. all your helpful tips and congratulations on your new project and all your success on your book. Thank we'll you. you Diary of a Lunatic, Silky's Tail. <laughs> Bye, Teddy. You good dog. All right, you guys. Okay, all so right. you want me to hang up now, leave studio? Is that what I do? All right, guys. Yep, that's Rosalind Cashmeyer, and she is author, an educator, and an actress. Follow her on Instagram, Twitter, and everything, Facebook, and I guess we're going to work on Club Yard and her TikTok as well. And um, so she's she's a really great friend and super talented. But, yeah, if you guys are ever in the Buffalo area, uh, visit, you know, those small theaters once they open up safely. And the shops there are very charming, and uh, you're helping a lot of creative types out there like myself. Um, all right, so uh, I wanted to go over a couple things with you guys, and let's just go down the line because we've got a lot of things coming up. Um, April the 23rd is Oscars week, and so we're doing an, a celebrity uh, lounge, socially distanced with the mask. It's looking really good, and we're actually excited that that's going to happen. We've got most of the brands um, in place, but if you are a startup brand and you have product and you want it to get in the hands of some influencers, actors, and press and media, uh, why don't you email me and let's make that happen. We're doing our swag bags again, and we'd love to put your name and or logo on the front of that bag and include some of the items from your uh, from from your storage, whatever you guys have there. Um, if you, you make soap, if you do skincare, lipstick, um, you know, whatever you do, we would like to, to find out more about the product and see if it's a fit for us. I have a lot of other cool things coming up that you'll see as we post, but let me give you all my, um, my social media hashtags. So on Instagram, it's at Monique Larray Stinson, uh, at Cap Aquarius Media, that's C-A-P, Aquarius Media, so it's Capricorn Aquarius, Cap Aquarius Media, or at the Startup with Monique Loray, L-O-R-E, um, as well as Latchkey Kid Films. So we've got wine, and we've got coffee, we've got TV, we've got radio, we've got brands and films, and we've got a lot of stuff going, but it's all cohesive, and it all makes sense once you kind of dive in. But follow my personal page, and you can see what we've got next. But again, um, on the 22nd, myself and my colleague Christopher John will be on the road, Vancouver, uh, Montreal, and Toronto. And we would love to hear your pandemic stories, stories of survival, stories of loss, stories of perseverance and entrepreneurship. We're highlighting the humans here. We're highlighting how you guys are doing and we're leaving all of the, uh, the other stuff to the other people. I'm not interested in highlighting politics. I don't think this is a political issue. I think this is a human humanitarian um, event, a human event. And I think that we should be highlighting what we're doing and how we're handling with one another. So um, please email us. We'd love to hear your story. Send a picture too, a little uh, paragraph about who you are, what you're doing. Essential workers, we can never get enough of you. Thank you and a shout out to everyone that's um, really helped out. We're gonna be giving away um, we're going to be giving away a little package to a um, uh, first responder essential worker. We had a donation um, on our New Year's Eve. Uh, we did the trailer event. Um, some people were able to view it on Roku and some were not. We, you know, like anything, you try something new and there's going to be glitches. Um, but we were able to, um, we got a donation small donation, but I did not forget, and thank you very much. You know who you, who you are, who sent it. 
Um, we want to take that money and we want to give you something really nice. Um, so we're going to put together a little care package for an essential worker. So why don't you guys tag in the feed or even tag me on Instagram um, on at the Startup with Monique Loray page, okay, on Instagram. Tag an essential worker or a first responder. Um, who would who deserves a nice care package? Okay, something really nice. We're just gonna put all kinds of beautiful products and and gifts and just it's nice to get a package. I think that's why Amazon does so well. It's good to get a package at your door, and uh, and 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 just feel like you know some connectiveness and just feel like someone cares. And so we want to take the funds that were donated and and give that to an essential worker or first responder. So go ahead and tag somebody, tag me on Instagram or in this feed, uh, someone that deserves that, okay? But we're only looking for essential workers or first responders at the moment. Of course, people in all, you know, in all backgrounds and all uh, fields that are working right now are, are important, but that's who we're gonna highlight at the moment. That includes nurses, doctors, you know, uh, People, you know, your wait staff, people cleaning the restrooms at the airport, um, flight attendants, pilots, um, you know, firefighters, I think I mentioned them. And uh, shout out to Michael Solberg Family Wines. Leah, thank you so much for all the wine and um, continued uh, success with your brand. And thank you so much for being a, a loving partner and, and um, sponsor here. She's one of my good friends and we love her wine because it pairs with the wine glass. You don't need much and it's a family um, brand. It's been around for almost three and four decades now. Her father started in the late 80s and she's carrying his legacy on michaelsolbergfamilywines.com. Also, uh, La Casa del Camino. Shout out to La Casa del Camino. Thank you so much for your continued uh, support and, um, and, and you know, partnership on some things. We've got some things brewing. And last but not least, uh, we have... Um, Oh, wow, there you go. I think we covered it all, you guys. I, I'm kind of excited that I got it all out, but there's there's a lot of things happening, and uh, just wanting to hear more from you guys um, with your stories. Now, let me give you, you know what, let me give you a couple more CDs we're going to do. Yes, we're doing Canada. After that, we're doing Europe. We're going all over Europe. Um, it's including London. It's including Spain, uh, Madrid. It's including... Um, Venice, Italy. Uh, we're, we're also going to Dublin, Ireland, and... I believe it's Prague. We're going to no we're Prague. We're going to Berlin. Uh, so we're going all over Europe in April. So if you know anybody in Europe um, that would like to be in the pandemic film or be featured, uh, you can email us capaquariusmedia at gmail.com and we will take their photo and maybe even do like a Zoom interview. A Zoom chat first, and then an in-person interview. And we are socially distanced with masks, space out. Shout out to Lady Ray J out there in uh, St. Louis. Thank you so much for the for the simulcast. And you know, guys, I'm excited because in in real time, I'm actually finishing my global business degree online during this pandemic. So I'm doing this, and I'm working my businesses, and I'm doing my education all at the same time. And I'm in an entrepreneur class, and it's really great. Shout out to my class. You know who you are. Uh, but I'm really picking up some cool things, learning some new things, and learning, relearning some stuff that I already knew. But um, it's really exciting and empowering to, to, to pick those things up and apply them right now in your business. So, you know, now might be the time. If you're feeling a little lug, a little drag, or you're feeling lonely, pick up a class online for your, for your business. Um, better yourself. Get those tools out. And then by the time this pandemic is done, you'll have something to show for all this time that we're in the house and kind of hunkered down. That was my main goal, and that's what I did and I'm doing. Um, but everybody's different. But I just thought I'd share that with you because, you know, schools have resources. So if you don't have Internet, if you don't, you know, you need to need a little extra help, ha going to school right now can really kind of um, help help you meet those needs and you feel good about about learning at any age. Right. And if you're an entrepreneur, we're always learning. So I always ask you this every Sunday, but, you know, be good to one another out there. You guys, it's you know, there's a lot of tensions out there and um we need to uh, we need just be kind to each other. And uh, I ask you every Sunday, what will you start up today? Be well, and I'll see you next weekend. Bye. You're listening to The Startup with Monique LeRae.
only on L.A. Talk Radio. 